Welcome, everyone. Philly Captain here. As of today, it is December 17th. It is a bit balmy, a little bit warm, so I decided to explore the grounds of, for sculptures in Trenton, New Jersey. So I'm asking you to join me. Shall you? In the building where you pay, they have sculptures made by Seward Johnson, who was a member of the Johnson & Johnson family. This is uh, Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night. And this is another sculpture by Seward Johnson. It's like walking in to a Van Gogh painting, what it would be like. You can also sit here, get a jazz cigarette, and watch the jazz band. The ground for sculptures is this outdoor art museum in Hamilton, New Jersey, right outside of Trenton. They have giant sculptures spread out 42 acres. So uh, I've never been here. I uh, go all the way up there. I used to work near here and I always drove by this place and I always wondered, the hell is that place? So that's what we're doing today. Finding out what the hell is this place. There is a, a giant woman and her uh, pussy is uh, right there. That's called marriage. It's actually not called marriage, but that's how I would describe it. I've never been to Stonehenge. It's got that type of vibe. Or, uh, what's that movie? Space Odyssey 2001? It's just a monolith. Admission to this place is 10 bucks. You could buy an annual membership for $85. There, look at this, an anvil. If you turn here, that, my friend, is an upside down house. This is called Monet's Bridge. And how I hope this comes out. Look at the size of these. Koi fish. Monet was an impressionist artist. Ooh, that sounds, that sounds right. And uh, Monet had a bridge on his property when he became successful. He had a bridge that looked just like this. As a matter of fact, Monet, painted this bridge you can see a painting of this bridge i maybe they're filled up the museum of art but i definitely see it's pretty cool to see things like that van gogh um room and this bridge it's kind of like seeing the real thing in real life and uh-oh better put some clothes on hon it's getting cold it's gonna drop to the 40s next week
They call it a circular rest. To me, it looks like a round of Marble Madness. Remember that game, Marble Madness? Looks like that. Dart, I think this guy got stood up and he's watching his girlfriend out there. She's canoeing with somebody. Canoeing? He's just watching. I, I think the term's cuck. I think he's a cuck. And then I see this bench, and I go, oh, is this bench art? Because it has a sign on it. And the uh, the answer is no. It's just a bench. This looks like a... Uh, remember that TV show Double Dare? Looks like a Double Dare slide. I like this. This guy's over here. And he's painting what he's saying. And then if you come over here, this fella who I, I it looks like Winston Churchill. I don't know how. I mean it probably is, I don't know. So and anyway, he's painting what he's seeing. And uh, if you see, he's painting that guy. Oh, you know what's cool? They let you go fishing here. Hello, friend. Catch anything? Friend? Friend? <laughs> this is cold. I just wanted to get out of the house. He doesn't, he doesn't even have a line. I'm sure people who have done this museum, they've walked past so many things, because if you turn around, they're like in this little corner, they have this. Oh look, there's a trail right here. Whoa, whoa. Listen, hon, you might you might want to put something on. Oh, sorry. That's what I told her. Oh, that's what you told her too? She's more vulgar. Go the other side. Right, right. Have you seen this little guy? Oh, let's see. This little guy. Look at time. Hiding here. Wow. Every little detail. I was told this is like a theater. Oh, I could definitely. Yo, the acoustics are killer. This is like a theater. They do stuff. And even though there's nobody here, there's always an audience watching. Not the best looking audience. They kind of remind me of the puppets from that Genesis video. This is the land we live in. Oh. Each one of these sculptures is supposed to tell a story. All I see is jazz cigarette. Everywhere I go, right? You know, right? They got a name for a sculpture. And uh, when I, 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 I think that's the electric box. That's just, yeah, that's definitely just an electric box. Oh no, what's going on here? This reminds me of the movie Dragnet with Tom Hanks. You ever see that one? Tom Hanks, Dan Aykroyd. Oh, uh-oh. I'll put your hand in there. I'll bite you. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you know what? It's dead, whatever it is. Thank <laughs> God. I asked one of the museum workers, like, I kind of, some of them I can understand. Some of them I get the message that they're trying to convey. This, I have no idea. You know, I guess Weeble Wobbles, I'm not sure. We got some live action.
Hey, all right, big time. Open up those feathers. Open up those feathers. Come on. Yeah, come on, come on. Yo, do it. Pop open. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, that's the opposite. All right, asshole. I see how you are. This is how I picture the world ending. Like, this is what, what's going to happen. A meteorite's going to hit us, and we're all dead. So I call this one end of the world. Wow, this one moves. Look at this. I'm only thinking of one movie. What movie am I thinking of looking at this? Karate Kid 2. If you said Karate Kid 2, you were correct. Where the hell is she going? I don't go down the steps, on. You see the Japanese art? We're just going to keep an eye on her. I'm in the, uh, I'm in the Karate Kid 2 house. Look at this, big time. Pretty nice. And you go up here. And you can look at some of the sculptures. Oh, watch out for that chair. No, what's funny is, you don't know if the chairs are chairs or work of art. I mean, they look like work of art, works of art. I am Groot. hidden conversation and this is a angry chimpanzee pet who wants to get the attention of the owner she's the owner but he's like nah sell the monkey sell the and the monkey's like nah man kiss my ass kiss my ass there you go at least that's my interpretation of that work this was made by Gloria Vanderbilt, uh, Anderson Cooper's mom. It's called Heart Desire. She made this in 2008. I would name this... Nightmare Fuel. Nightmare Fuel. Plus... They got that creepy shit playing. Nightmare Fuel. I walked about three miles in here, so <clears throat> just keep that in mind. I, I, I like to walk, but there's a lot of walking going on. It's neat. It's a cool, I mean, it's 10 bucks, so it's definitely worth the, the visit. Um, I would, I had to hurry. They're doing something special for Christmas, so they're closing a little bit earlier. So I had to cut my visit short. I would check it out. It's only 10 bucks. Um, a lot of the art in here was made here, so that's pretty interesting. If you like this video, do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up, and while you're at it, hit subscribe. Don't forget to check out my merch. My merch, it's fire. And if you really want to help me out, there's a link below in every video to my Patreon. Help me out. I'm going places. I need gas money.
five bucks, ten bucks, you get a postcard, you get some bonus videos in the mail. It's really exciting. Well, make sure you hit like and subscribe, and I'll sail with you later. Toodles!